No, and, and it's fabulous. And we're seeing, um, you know, this week there was a change at the top of Twitter. All, and then, you know, within a few days, mass bannings and, and accounts being taken offline. And, and so I think clearly everyone that's in the Web3 space, you know, doesn't believe in that. If you don't want to see something or you don't like someone's opinion, you know, you, the filter, filter option is pretty easy. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and when you get, but what, coming back to, to YGG and, and what you're doing, I mean, you guys are global. Um, I mean, is there any, like you're, you're in the country you're in so that you don't have to worry about us regulations, but I mean, how does, um, how does it work with so many different, you know, I guess you have a unified currency. It doesn't matter. And, and so the, the, the challenges that a normal international corporation would have kind of just disappear for you. Well, uh, regulation is still something we actively think about because while people are earning money in the metaverse, they have to take that money to the real world to be able to buy food on the table and spend for themselves. So this is where we touch financial services. The most exciting part for me about YGG is that we can uh, bring ordinary people into Web3. They don't even have to know code. They don't have to know crypto. They must know how to play a game and how and they have the... Uh, I guess, interest in making money from playing a game. And then our community does the rest, onboard them with a wallet, teach them how to play a game, teach them how to use a wallet. And now not only are people going into the metaverse, they're coming there looking for a job, maybe playing one of these games or being a trader or being a streamer. And they're getting income that they can use in the real world. So we're democratizing access uh, to the economic opportunities in the metaverse to anyone across the world. And when those economic opportunities go back to the real world, that's when regulation comes in. You have to deal with kind of crypto, the fiat off-ramp, um, how do the licenses work? So these are things that we're actively working with. But in most countries, there's kind of a well-defined framework on what these financial services look like and what licenses are required.